What's up everyone, welcome here on Fox Tech. I am gonna walk you through how to install and set up messages on your iPad. Let's get started. First of all, you'll need an iCloud account to use iMessage on your iPad. If you don't already have one, you can create an account by going to the settings app, tapping on your name at the top of the screen, and following the prompts to sign in or create a new account. This account is essential because iMessage uses iCloud to sync your messages across all your Apple devices. Once you have your iCloud account set up and you're signed in, the next step is to enable iMessage. To do this, go to the Settings app, scroll down to Messages, and tap on it. At the top of the screen, you'll see a toggle for iMessage. Make sure this is turned on. This will activate iMessage on your iPad, allowing you to send and receive messages. Now that iMessage is enabled, you need to set up the addresses message will, will use to communicate. Now in the same messages settings, um, tap on send and receive. Here you can add the email addresses and phone numbers you want to use with iMessage. These addresses will be the ones people can use to send you messages. Uh, make sure to check the ones you want to use and add any additional addresses as needed. iMessage is incredibly versatile and can be sent to other iPads, iPhones, or Macs, making it a convenient option for staying in touch with friends and family who use Apple devices. The setup process is straightforward and user-friendly, so you should be up and running in no time. Next, let's talk about managing your message history. In the messages settings, you'll find options for how long to keep your message history. You can choose to keep messages for 30 days, one year, or forever. This setting is important to manage your iPad storage capacity. If you find your storage filling up quickly, you might want to set a shorter retention period. Additionally, you can adjust the settings for audio and image messages. You can set audio messages to expire after two minutes or one year. Enabling low quality image mode can help save data if you're concerned about your data usage. If you encounter any issues with activating iMessage, there are a few troubleshooting steps you can take. First, try signing out of your Apple ID under Send and Receive in the Messages settings, then restart your device and sign back in. Another trick is to enable airplane mode, wait a few seconds, and then disable it. This can help reset your data connections and resolve activation issues. If you're still having trouble, you can reset your network settings. Go to Settings, then General, scroll down to Reset, and select Reset Network Settings. This will reset your Wi-Fi networks and passwords, cellular settings, and VPN settings. After the reset, restart your device and try activating iMessage again. Thank you for watching this tutorial on Fox Tech. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel for more tech tips and tricks. We appreciate your support and look forward to bringing you more valuable content. See you guys later.